What's going on, man? It's Vash, and I'm out to do this live reaction to Kids Neighbor episode one. I had episode zero, and I actually recorded it, and I did all that sort of stuff, but it was just the cast talking about the show and talking about the characters, and they played like a game of jump rope or some shit in the end, and I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to live react to that. not going to live react to these guys playing jump rope. So, no. But episode one is out right now, so that's pretty dope, and I'm going to fucking do a live reaction to that shit, man. Hopefully this shit is the shit. Cause Studio Trigger did it, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully that this is, I hope that this is good, especially because they made it up. This is not a manga, this is like an anime original thing. So hopefully this shit is cool as fuck. Let's go ahead and dive into this shit. Okay, so we got a fucker running. Is that the main character with the white hair? Doesn't look like it because the hair looks brown from this distance. It's all right. Okay, that is him then. Cops hit it. yeah, that's him. Why does he have brown hair here? Did he get fucking connected and fucking you know having white hair? What the fuck happened? I don't want it back. I don't want my pain back though. Like if I can't feel pain, that's dope. I don't want it back. But they would think I was a superhero. I think would just shoot me like pow. I'd be keep walking. Was that his sister or some shit? Okay, his hair just turned white just then. Okay, well, that was magical. <laughs> Twelve years later. So he was like maybe four or five then. So now he's either 16 or 17. High school student age, I'm assuming. Yeah, this look <laughs> this looks kill like kill ish. <laughs> There it is. I like the animation though, I can't lie. I've already said that shit, but the animation looks dope. Wait, what? Oh, somebody just said one and threw me off. Real shit, I thought shit came from like behind me. I was just like, let's see this intro. It's like super techno right here. <laughs> and with all the lights that would give me the seizure I've always wanted. Cool. Lay your hands on me, Boom Boom Satellites. That's the name of the group, Boom Boom Satellites. I already don't like that character right there just because of the way he looks. I swear to God, I already don't. Like... That character looks mysterious enough, cool. That dude looks douchey. I don't know why. Yeah, that that eye shit. They looks like fucking Gein from fucking Bleach. I'm not fucking with that. She looks weird as fuck. She got like a bunny fucking mouth. She looks like the most normal girl out of that crew, out of the crew right here, the red hair girl. And so far, the main character, this guy with the white hair, he looks the coolest. So, kid's neighbor. Yeah, this girl, she looks like the the most regular out of them. She looks like the most normal. She's gonna be like, motherfucker. Bitch. That's a bug. Oh, his hair still got brown there. Okay, I didn't even notice that shit. Oh. <laughs> he just, his voice is like so devoid of life. And it's fucked up because I watched episode zero. Daughter. 
No, I keep whooping your ass every month. She obviously likes him, so. Well, she obviously likes him, and she actually hates that he has no feelings and shit. Katsuhira Kun. This motherfucker. Wow, this motherfucker is just like... It's weird that like, he can't feel pain. So it's like, why does he have a lack of emotion to go with that? That motherfucker got beaver teeth. Jesus fucking Christ. That nigga grill all kinds of fucked up. He hit that nigga with his ass, essentially. I'm talking about all the money you taking from the dumb ass, yeah. Yeah, well, I like this character now. He defended the main character. I'm not acting tough, bro. I can't feel pain. Did he say that much? <laughs> That's the main girl. Right, yeah. So he's just, okay, so he's about 16, 17 then. And that's that douche character. And that's the girl with the glasses who seems like she just is so above it. That's the weird girl. That's a teacher? You don't forget Crocs on. What the fuck? Don't look for him now, girl. Like, die each other. But I don't want it back, though. I don't want to be able to feel pain. Like, what the fuck? Why you keep saying that shit to me, sis? Like, oh, whoever you are. <laughs> like, why the fuck you keep saying that shit to me? I don't want it back. I don't want to get that feeling back. Yeah, girl. You see my eyes open, don't you? Fuck your name. <laughs> that was actually funny. Sonozaki and, and Katsuhira. Yeah, it's a great manga. Oh, okay, I thought she was talking about <laughs> mm 
Mm-hmm. Okay. What's up, ladies? Oh, God. He reminds me so much of fucking... Oh, my God. He reminds me of Isaiah from fucking Dude Out of Da. I'm so above it all. Jesus. The cunning normal, high and mighty. Two shoes. <laughs> I don't know why she just remind me of a bunny. The eccentric hair case. <laughs> How the fuck are these sins? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> he should walk away at this point. <laughs> I know, yeah, they're just like quirks. They're just like weird quirks. Oh, is that him? Ooh, Don. The imbecile. But are you talking about me? <laughs> That nigga said, hey, man, um, I could be wrong, but you talking shit about me, girl? Oh, I'm an imbecile. I'm trying to understand now how his lack of pain transfers to a lack of emotion as well, like, That's weird as shit, though. That's weird that that's why they would keep fucking with it, even though they say, hey, man, like, this is boring because he's not feeling any pain. Why'd you come back the next day, then? Mm, what the fuck was that? Yeah, I just, well, I'm about to see how this saw the nigga I shine. Hey, shout out to Johnny Young Boss. She gonna slap him. Take my trip. Don't let her push down the steps, my nigga. Grab her. <laughs> you seem sort of intimidating. Bro, like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Hey, panty shirt. Not just playing. But my boy, why did you let her push you down that shit? You could have fucking did anything. Like, wow, are they really going for that? Is is he really thinking to himself? I can get these a panty shirt right now. Poker dice. Wow, he actually is it. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> wow, that's fucking ridiculous. Panties. Also, oh, he's about to get fucked. Is this where the pain threshold with transfer is happening? Shit, I'm actually shocked that like once he got his pain back, like he didn't like his brain didn't fucking explode. <laughs> To, to be able to process that shit when it hasn't done it for like fucking all that nigga's life, like the probably his brain was just like, what the fuck? Boom. <laughs> mm. 
What up, girl? Yeah, you in the hospital. Land on something straight like a cross. What the fuck? But you are Siri. You are Siri. What up, girl? It's a celebration, bitches. What? What's up, player? Think I mean it. Nothing really. Can you explain it to me? Cool. Cool. What's the reality then? What? Kids in the system. Exactly. Tell me too. <laughs> well, that's not true, so. Fighting would not occur. That's not true. That's bullshit. People fight because they struggle against each other, to quote my boy Lelouch. <laughs> and they have something to protect. The muscle head thug. We share each other's pain. Yeah, look at your fucking arm that you haven't looked at since you've woken up. No, she pushed me down the steps. <laughs> cool. Hell no. Cause now they gonna whoop my ass. It better not activate just now because she said that shit. It better not activate just now because she said that. Something's happening to me. It won't lead nobody towards peace though because we share each other's pain. It's fucking silly. But it's an interesting fucking topic. Yeah, I'm so above it all. Yeah. No. What? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Baka. Sure. What up, girl? Hmm. A woman that looked like you were jumping off of that damn thing and to get my pain back. And you're my and you're surprisingly lax about it too. So I'll just show you. 
Watch me stab you real quick. But you're an idiot though, so. First name. I need to call her by her first name. Like, they childhood friends. You don't get your crazy ass on with that shit. Okay, so she about to get hurt by something. And that shit gonna hurt everybody. Don't do it twice. So now that nigga probably in there like, what the fuck? Don't you tell you that nigga? Shit. Holy fuck. Holy shit. I'd be mad as fuck though. I I'd be mad as fuck. I ain't even gonna lie. I'd be mad as shit. If somebody did that shit to me, man, I'd be mad as fuck. 100%, bitch. Oh, cool. Thank you. And let's end on that. Thanks for not telling me shit. Thank you. Thank you. So now I gotta wait until the next goddamn week to figure out what the fuck a kid's neighbor is, to figure out how the fuck Sonazaki is involved in this shit, to figure out if she's also connected in this pain pressure shit with them. Obviously not. Maybe I can also figure out why the fuck she looked like as death and shit. Then I gotta figure out what the fuck this whole plan is to create peace because I don't even see war breaking out anywhere in this series. All of a sudden they're gonna break out the war. Cool. Thank you for that shit. Goddamn. But animation wise, story wise, voice acting wise, it, it was a shit. His neighbor is going to be one of those ones that's just like, oh, this is the sleeper probably. No, nah, you know what? I'm sorry. ReZero is the sleeper. I, I'm not even going to lie about that shit. That shit was the sleeper. But his neighbor is the, one of the ones that I got high hopes for because it's done by Trigger. And it, it just seems weird enough to catch my interest. So, you know, that's dope. But let me know what you guys think about the shit, man. Did you enjoy this episode? Are you fucking with it? Let me know, man. Vatch kid.